age 12. Four, four percent is what they said? Uh, of all the people, only 4% said 12. Only four. Y'all don't watch my videos. It's Liza Koshy and 2,100, I can read numbers. Boop, that's how I naturally walk. How's that? This is the Liza Koshy fan survey. That was aggressive. How old do you think the oldest person was to take this survey? I'm gonna say 85, because right. my grandpa just got a laptop. How old do you think was the youngest person to take this survey? I saw like a 12 month old take a selfie the other day. So I'm gonna go with the 12 month old. What do you think the average age of all the people that took this survey is? Maybe like 14, 15? Right. And what do you think the most common age is? I think 15. I turn around and grab it, right? Yeah, please. I love this part, this is my favorite part. I love this series so much, because this is the part where you get to see my little booty do. I'm working my ass on. How old are the fans who took this survey? Oldest was 68. But you said 85, why are you My surprised? grandpa didn't take the survey then. It's gonna be a confrontational family reunion. Youngest was five. Five? That one year old didn't take it. <laughs> Wait, what is a five? Did they borrow their mom's phone? The average was 17.8. Oh, my demographic like almost able to vote. Okay. You better go vote. And the most common was 16. They can drive. I wish there was a basketball hoop behind me, that'd be sick. Inside Liza's mind. It's a dark place. Who is Liza's doppelganger? Cardi B, and I have no idea why. Oh, yeah. I get Billy from Stranger Things when my hair is down and wet. Oh, Mowgli Yeah. on Netflix. What do you think the fans are gonna say? I think all of that. I think they're gonna say Billy from Stranger Things. Actually, no, Ducky. Ducky from Land Before Time. Look at my profile. Here we go. It's been a while since I touched one of these things. Lily <laughs> Yes, I do have a late night show. Make sure to tune in, you guys. I think it's at 1.15 a.m. 323 people think I look like Lily Singh. This is, this is. I love y'all so much. Beyonce, huh? I love you. I'm just gonna go for it with this Beyonce joke that I have. What does Jay-Z Okay, I'm gonna set that up better. Here I go. Okay, I'm ready. Um, when Beyonce has a question for Jay-Z, what does she say? Jay, why? <laughs> I'm honored. This is, this is an honor. Cardi, come on! Ah, oh, like, yes. Also, her teeth look nice. Cardi B, 34 people said I looked like Cardi B. Kiana Madera, I hope I'm saying her name right. 33 people said I look like Kiana. She is gorgeous, immensely talented. Big fan, big fan, stalk her a lot. Are you for real? Zendaya? Are you 23 people? Say I look like Zendaya. I want whatever y'all are smoking. I don't think we look anything alike. She is smoking hot. I will take, I'm sorry, are y'all good? I definitely want what you smoking now. Oprah? Huh? Nine people said I look like Oprah. 68 year old did not know any of these other celebrities and said, oh, Oprah. Yep. Huh? People say I look like The Rock. What? I kind of see that. Thank you for that confidence boost. Sorry for the mess. What is Liza's hype song? Oh, Motivation right now by Normani. How good is your editor? Uh, really good. Okay, can I challenge them to literally edit a basketball bouncing over my butt? I'm thinking of motivation. Did it bounce off my booty? What do you think the fans are gonna say? I think they're gonna say anything by Lizzo, because I love Lizzo too. Good as hell is good as hell. We got it. What is Liza's hype song? Good as hell, Lizzo, I knew it. Motivation just came out, so you don't know yet, but I will express my love for it properly. Truth hurts, Lizzo, I said that one too. You guys know me. Run the world, girls, Beyonce. Juice, Lizzo, just put Lizzo's whole album on here. Dancing Queen. Abba, oh my God, yep, you can't touch this. MC Hammer, one person. Who's that one person that's a 68 year old? Oh, I freaking love Lizzo. I could sing her praises, but if I did, it'd be offensive because I can't sing it. Oh, I love that. Go download Lizzo's album. Um. Oh, I have mad aim, dude. How old was Liza when she had her first kiss? How old were you? I was 12. He was my young little Latino boyfriend and he told me to meet him outside in the hallway and said, hey, dame un beso. I went in 
like shaking and was like, see? By the way, I speak fluent Spanish, okay? This is not offensive. I gave him a hug and I pulled back and he's like, that wasn't a beso. And I was like, I know. But then went in for it. Full tongue, I didn't put the tongue in there, but um, went in for it. It was so, it was, it was awkward. What do you think the fans are gonna say? I think they're gonna say 12, because I, I revealed that secret to my mom in a video that I did with her once. <laughs> yeah, and let me just right. shout out Dylan. You were a great boyfriend for that month. This one's for Dylan. Haven't seen you in a bit. Hope you're doing well. How old was Liza when she had her first kiss? Age 12. Four, 4%? Four Is what they said? Uh, of all the people, only 4% said 12. Only four? Y'all don't watch my videos? <laughs> Hold on, let's read the rest of the numbers. I feel like I'm about to be offended. Age 13, 21%. Maybe I lied in the video. No, why would I Why would I lie to my mother like that? Have you ever lied to your mother before? Yeah, many times, of course. Age 14, 16%. Age 15, 15%. That's pleasing. Age 16, 19%. Age 17, 14%. Age 18, 7%. Age 19, 4%. This don't make no sense. <laughs> it's making me question my reality though because I straight up, I'm pretty sure I had my first kiss at 12. There right, we go. No, you thought I was going back there. I'm going straight for camera. Dang it. How do you think that Liza would rank these comedians? Oh, come on. Tiffany Haddish. I freaking love her. She brought freaking chicken in her bag to the Met Gala. She didn't share any with me, so she's gonna be the lowest in the ranking. We got Ali Wong as well. Oh my God, her special on Netflix is good. We got Tina Fey. I brushed her shoulder once. It was soft. We got Kate McKinnon. I wonder what that shoulder feels like. Oh, come on. Ilana Glazier. And we have Amy Schumer. I think they've seen me with Tiffany a lot. They know I love me some Kate McKinnon. I love me some Broad City. I love me some TT. The nickname she doesn't know I have for her yet until we meet. Allie, God, I don't think I've posted about watching her special, but I don't think they know that I, I adore her. And then Amy, oh, she has a dog in her photo that, that puts her at the top. Number one is Tiffany. Okay, number two is? <laughs> Kate McKinnon, Ilana Glazier, Tina Fey, Ali Wong, Amy Schumer. That's what I think they said, that's not my personal feelings. Number one was Tiffany Haddish. Yes, okay, I knew they were gonna say that. Two, Ali Wong. For real, for real? Okay. Three, Tina Fey. Yeah, all right, all right, that was close. Four, Kate McKinnon. Yes. Five is Alana. Come on. Six was Amy Schumer. Okay, I love all of these women. Thank you, ladies, see y'all later. Get off, Tina, get off. Transmutations. If Liza were any plant, animal, or food, what would she be? It'd be a fake plant. Why? Fake plants never die. Real person, fake plant. Thank you. A dog! They thought I'd be a dog or a puppy, 237. My personality definitely is puppy-like. God, that's a cute puppy. A banana? <laughs> we good, that's a big ass banana. I don't think it's the scale. I think it might be, dude. 162 people said I'd be a banana. Honestly, you kinda look like it right now. <laughs> uh, I should've seen this coming. I guess you find me appealing. <laughs> she still got it. A ficus? A fake plant! Yes! You guys know me. 77 people said I would be a fake plant. Are these more fake succulents? Ah, real succulents. 64 would say a succulent. Also very independent because you don't have to water them as often. A squirrel! I do love me some nuts. 51 people said I would be a squirrel. Yeah, dog, look at that thing. I wish I could have a squirrel as a pet. That'd be dope. A flying squirrel as a pet would be dope. Avocado toast, 19. Okay, I know I've lived in LA for a really long time, but I'm not that basic yet. All right, kinda looks good, I'm hungry. And then, shut up, a Venus flytrap? Y'all good? Uh, 17 people said I'm a Venus flytrap. People said I look like spaghetti. Sp <laughs> Hold on, there's an explanation for this one. Spaghetti, because she's all over the place and can have many different flavors to her and can dance all noodly. <laughs> Kidding me? Of course I noodle dance. I'm literally a piece of ramen. I'm a straight, flat noodle, my boy. <laughs> what would be written on Liza's headstone? I have no longer taking questions at this time. Or little brown girl is out. Bye. That was my outro on YouTube, so I think people will think that yeah, that's, what you, that's what you think out. fans are gonna say? Yeah. Oh my God. All right, here comes the future. When you can gaze into the future, future. Yeah! <laughs> Little brown girl is out, bye. Oh, they didn't put the bye. 516 people.
Oh wow, really creative on this one. 129 people thought I would say R.I.P. Liza Koshy. It does rhyme, has a nice ring to it. Yeah, no. Um, okay, okay, we got the bye in there. 100 people said bye. <laughs> yeah, that's like a, the last text message she sent before she went. Oh my God, no, this is, this is incorrect. 37 people said funny AF. That is not a humble way to go. And then we have 32 people said a dollar. If you don't know the context of that, it would be very confusing to see that at a gravesite. Oh Lord. <laughs> Seven people said, hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Liza coming at you. <laughs> oh, coming at you from the grave. Okay, okay, that's cute. Bye. Hopes, dreams, and fears. What is Liza's irrational fear? <laughs> my fear is that a spider will crawl into my butt while I'm on the toilet. It's totally rational. Have you ever it's... seen a spider in a toilet before? Yes, yes. Oh. Which is what started the fear. Come on. Nice. Ah! <gasps> oh. Oh. I'm wearing a sweater. You know I'm warm and I have goosebumps. Is a spider. I feel uncomfortable even holding this. The thing underneath it, I'm so sorry, I can't, I, that cannot be on the table. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, can you flip it actually upside down for me? Yeah. Could you please? Oh, I totally forgot about that one. So just, just we'll graphic size it, but just say. It's on the screen, get it off the screen. Get it off the screen. <laughs> I don't wanna see it on the screen. I'm not watching this fear video. Fear of small holes. It's called tryptophobia, and I don't know if it was like a fear birthed from the internet, but the moment I saw it, I just. Anyways, okay, what's this? Bad breath. I'm so glad we're moving on. 96 people said bad breath. That is correct. My own bad breath though. Damn, girl, brush your tongue. What is that? A snakes, a snake, a snake. I'm not super, I can hold the paper up and be fine. I'm not super scared of snakes. But they are, are pretty scary. 63 people said snakes. What's this one? 48 people said hairless cat. I don't know if I get it, can you tell me? I don't get it either, man. Why is it naked? They constantly look surprised that they're naked too. A non-aesthetically pleasing Instagram feed. <laughs> One person said that, and the 68-year-old got her first question right. It does bother me sometimes. Follow me on Instagram, plug. Alectorophobia, alectorophobia. Fear of chickens. I love chicken as an animal and as a meal. Ah, oh, sorry, oh no. No, I don't have a fear of chickens. This is random. Bye. What will Liza see in this ink blot? Oh, I do this all the time with my therapist. Love therapy. What do you think, what do you Ovaries. see? Ovaries, I'm just kidding, I don't know. I see a flattened platypus. Hey, where's Perry? <laughs> or, or two twins playing dodgeball. Do you see it too? What will Liza see in this ink blot? A clown, 68 people said a clown. Okay, I can kinda see that. No, actually I can't. Boots, 53 people said boots. No, those 53 people are blind. Butterfly, 29. Okay, I can see a butterfly just a tiny bit. Christmas tree, 23, okay. That's wrong too. Elf, 18. Yep, no, that doesn't look anything like Will Ferrell. Two rabbits and two clapping hands. Oh! No. Mickey and Minnie kisses in front of the Eiffel Tower. Holy crap, that's detailed. Mickey and Minnie kisses in front of the Eiffel Tower is the level of like detail I would go to, so I'm gonna give it to that person, correct? But I do think it might be the Dolan twins playing dodgeball with laser beams shooting out of their eyes. What does Liza mean to you? We asked the fans, what does Liza mean to you? What do the fans mean to you? Oh man, this is where I had the breakdown. <laughs> you fast forwarded to this moment to see what I said about you. Um, they're like the strongest support system I never imagined ha having. And I'm so thankful for them and their patience with everything that I've done throughout my career. It's really cool to have like, to like go out into the world and face your fears and, and have people like rooting for you. I'm really in tune with my feelings. Okay. And it, mm. An inspiration, I started, my nostrils are already flaring. Please, give it one second. Okay, I got this. 
An inspiration, I started watching her when I was 14 and I'm 17 now. She's the average age and I couldn't be more proud of her. She truly is an inspiration. Thank you. Everything. She's representing all the brown girls in a positive light in the media. I'm not crying. You are. Uh, <laughs> thank you, inspirational queen. That means the most. I'm, that's what I love about my job too is that I get to like represent like ethnically mysterious people in the media. <laughs> you don't know what I am, but I'm, I'm, I'm proud and I'm glad. When I hear that name, I think of a girl that is so beautiful you can't even understand. Yo, what's up? What's your name? What's your number? What you doing later? That was nice. Okay. All right, hit me up. Dylan? <laughs> I knew he'd come crawling back. I see her as a talented woman who created a beautiful platform for herself to spread love and happiness to everyone and anyone, which has helped millions that view her as a role model. And my name, Jeff. <laughs> That's great. This is tough. I like, I try my best not to read comments because you just, you never know, the internet can be an interesting place sometimes, but it's really nice to be reminded of like good things. Can you actually print out some tissues for me, man? That is an efficient printer. Oh, right, okay, we got one more. Oh my God. She's literally everything to me. When I watch her videos, she makes me smile more than any other of the 35 people I subscribe to on YouTube. <laughs> that, that is an honor, one out of 35. And I won't tell the other 34 people. Thank you guys so much for taking the survey. That was a really long survey. I took it myself. I'm my own biggest fan, self-love. But <laughs> um, thank you so much. You won't get that time back, but I appreciate the time and the energy and love um, and support that you guys have given me throughout the years and allowing me to explore different career paths and do different things in this world. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for the sweet words. This is a confidence boost, man. I really, really appreciate it.